There is hope in this world. And from then on, he's been walking with God, and we have built a marriage in the Lord. Therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. That's when I started to trust that He loved me. I didn't bring myself out of the drug and alcohol addiction. I didn't bring myself out of that homosexuality. God, God helps me walk every day. I've got a job today, you know, where I, the only thing I knew how to do back in the days was rob people. And that last year is when I met my wife. We now have two children, and God has really blessed me beyond what I ever thought. Life is just totally different than what it used to be. And it's Jesus. But non-believers rarely hear these stories. They avoid religion and perceive Christians as superficial and irrelevant. Yet, they are searching. I can remember being in the hotel room and, and I had, had was freebasing heroin, living homeless, you know, eating out of whatever dumpsters I could find. Hearing uh, an evil presence or voice and looking over that bridge and just saying, jump. It started with a fondling, it started with a grope, and then it went straight into sexual intercourse. And that is where the first sexual abuse occurred between me and my grandfather. December 21st of 2006. This was about eight months after my son died. I decided I'd had enough and I tried to kill myself. He said, how can you love me after what I've done to you? And I told him the only way I can explain it was because I have the love of God in me. When a desperate person connects with a light-bearing Christian, lives are transformed. They begin to weep, they begin to cry. And we had young men and women that had dealt with homosexuality yes. that came clean. Perversion, alcohol, drugs, mm -hmm. and all these these things started cutting coming out. Suicide. Cutting and suicide. And through that, we saw just these kids getting free. Absolute revival. There is hope in this world.